Hi, this is Dr. Friedlander, and in the Scan Marker Pro tip, I want to show you how students can scan an entire page using the multi line feature. Um, so, to uh, make sure that that feature is turned on at the main screen, I'm just going to scroll over to the left, go to settings, and I'm going to go to multi line, and just make sure that's turned on. If it's turned off, it looks like this. If I tap on it, it turns on, and this will allow students to uh, scan multi lines while they're scanning the page. I'm going to go back to reading, and the other settings um, that needs to be set are sentence, and then if you go up over here and touch the gears, you want to make sure that it's set to append, so any text that's scanned will be added um, to the screen. And now I'm just going to pick up my scanner, and I'm going to hold it perpendicular and press down lightly and just go across each line. This is a great strategy for students who need to access an entire page of text, and you can see how quickly this is um, accomplished. And when I get to the bottom of the screen, Scan Marker will begin to read the text um, to me. There we go. So it just scanned an entire page of text. The story of Frankenstein takes place in the late 1700s, more than 200 years ago. It is a frightening tale about a great scientist who dreams of doing something that no one has ever done before. As you will see, his dream turns into a nightmare. The story begins on a ship somewhere in the Arctic. The Arctic is the ice-cold land around the North Pole. So you can see how nicely um, that, that read it. So now if I want to um, save this so that the student can access this at another uh, point in time, what I'm going to do is just going to tap on this icon. It's the page with the plus, and you can see that it was successfully indexed. And now to find that page that I scanned, I'm going to click on this icon over here, and you can see that it's stored it with the first couple of words uh, of the page. If I tap on it, you can see that it uh, stored it. And if I click on sentence and then tap on it, the story of Frankenstein so we'll takes place again. in the late 1700s. More than 200. So I hope you found that uh, tip uh, helpful. If you have any other questions, uh, please uh, let me know. But look for some more tips uh, going forward.